Hey there folks, this is Hellbent and welcome to Auto Hotkey Mini Tutorial number 7. In this one we're going to be looking at the persistent command and what it actually does and when we need it and don't need it. Because I see a lot of people using the persistent command and clearly they don't really know what it's actually doing. So, in our script, how it works is it's going to come to the first line when it's executing it and it's going to read that line and do whatever it needs to do. It's going to go to the next line and then the next line and the next line until it encounters one of a few things. It could be a return, an exit, exit app, a hotkey, etc, etc. All the things up until that point are automatically going to get executed. And I can demonstrate that really quickly by putting in a message box. If I save this and run it, I get our message box. But if I was to add a hotkey, so let me create a hotkey, and this hotkey doesn't really matter what it does. Okay, and now I run it, and we don't get our high because it's encountered this hotkey and it says hey you know what our auto execute area is done so the things that we would use in this area here for example would be our labels our functions our hotkeys all the things that we actually wanted to get executed when the script starts will be in our auto execute area which is up here I can demonstrate that once again by just copying that pasting it in there and now we will get that message box. Okay. So let's talk about what persistent is going to do for us. Okay. Persistent is not a loop. Okay. All it's doing is it's telling the computer to keep it the values in memory. Now, what does that really mean? Okay. So let's say I have this hotkey right here if I didn't have a persistent with this hotkey it's gonna come through this read that do whatever it says do whatever it says do whatever it says come to the hotkey do whatever it says and then it gets here and there's nothing else it's gonna say okay I'm done I'm just gonna sit here idle and not do anything and now if I go and press control T it's not actually gonna do anything right because it's not storing keeping that that in its memory that hey when I press control T I want you to do something which brings up the next point of hidden values and defaults when you look at this you only see three lines of code but hidden below the surface so this is just the tip of the iceberg hidden below the surface is perhaps tens hundreds or even thousands of lines of code that tells it all the defaults that are going to be needed. So when I run the script, there's a whole bunch of defaults that tells it how to do things. For example, this message box command. When it's executed, hidden below the surface is all the parameters of it. It's got its how big is the message box, how big is its border, uh, it has a button on it that I can close it, the message box with, it has a button that says OK, it, ha it tells it where to position the characters in it. It has a whole bunch of different things in it that tells it what exactly this message box is. All we see is one little word, message box, that's it. But below the surface, there's tons. And then below that is the binary, which is our ones and zeros. And there could even be layers before the binary and below the simple things for the message box properties. So that brings up the hidden properties. And hidden in this, if I didn't have this, this is still going to work. And I can see it by hitting control T and I get my message box even though I haven't added the persistent command into my script it knows that persistent is needed in order to actually execute hotkeys and once this persistent command is anywhere in my script it doesn't need to be anywhere else so if I added this in right now I've got now I have two lines of code that says hashtag persistent so it's not needed. So if I have a hotkey 
or if I have a GUI or if I have a GUI and I'm actually going to comment out that I don't need that persistent command because built into this is this command so let's talk about when you actually need the persistent command when we're actually going to need the persistent command is if we want to have a timer okay I'm just gonna call my label label because I'm original like that and we're gonna wait two seconds so I have a timer that's gonna start and it's gonna execute the contents of a label that I'll do right now So our label, and we will call this, let's do message box. Okay. So now let's look at how this is going to work. It's going to come to the first line, read that, do whatever. It's going to come to the second line, and it's going to start the timer for the it's going to initialize our label set timer and it's going to encounter the return and then that's it it's it's done because it's not going to actually keep this in its memory because it's now done because it's not going to actually keep this in its memory it's not actually going to execute that it's just going to initialize it and that's it so if I look it's going to initialize it and then it's going to get rid of it as soon as it gets and encounters this return so if I look it's not actually going to do anything we're going to wait our two seconds three seconds four seconds and still no message box so what we need is a few things one of uh, or rather one of a few things if anywhere in our script we have a hotkey we do not need to add the persistent command because like I said it's already built into it so we should get our message box high there we go and it'll do it over and over and over again okay so that's we if we have a hotkey we do not need persistent if we don't have any hotkeys or any GUIs or a few other things we do actually need our persistent so if I have the persistent in now, it will execute our high over and over and over again. Once again, let's do it without the persistent and without any hotkeys and nothing. So this is pretty much one of the only occasions. There's a few others, but most of the time you're not going to actually need to add this command into your script. The persistent command into your scripts it is not a loop persistent is not a loop all it does is it stores it keeps this in the computer's memory because in other words once it hits this return it's going to get rid of that so it's not actually going to execute it because it's gone from the memory the persistent keeps it in memory it is not a loop which is the mistake I see a lot. Likewise, if you have a GUI or a hotkey or something like that, adding persistent again isn't going to do anything. And for most times, if you don't have a set timer or a few other things, persistent is not needed. And you can do testing to see if you need it or not. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you do enjoy these and you want to see more of these kind of tutorials, be sure to hit that like button. Your support's needed to keep me motivated to keep creating this content. Um, without your support, likely this series will die. So hit the like button if you want to see more and have a good day.